begin your path to financial freedom. Gain up to a $7,000 bonus on us. Register and use promo code. Deposit and enjoy a 7% bonus. Available now. Link in the description. Today's video is sponsored by Prime XBT, where you can copy expert traders, trade global markets, and their newest feature, which we're going to be going over today, trade crypto futures. Before we begin, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Also, tick that notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. We do go over the markets on this channel, so I hope to see you there. Let's get into it. If you'll notice, down in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see where it says Prime XBT Support Team. You can click that, and it will open up a live chat where you can ask them any questions you might have. If you'd like to use my promo code, you can go up to the top left-hand corner where you see the four squares. A drop-down menu will appear. Hit promo codes, and you can enter Savvy25. That will get you a 25% discount on your trading fees, and Savvy50 will get you a 7% bonus up to $7,000. Okay, now let's check out the new feature, Crypto Futures Trading. So we go to the Trade button up top. Your drop-down menu will appear. Hit Crypto Futures, and you can pick whether you want Tether or Bitcoin. All right, now you're ready to trade. Next, you'll want to pick your margin type, whether it be cross or isolated. Cross margin, the leverage is applied automatically in accordance with your order size. It can't be set manually, so it adjusts to the size of your order. Um, one of the benefits of cross margin is that if you are in unrealized profit, let's say you put in a trade and your trade's going the right way, and you have a bunch of unrealized profit. You can actually add to the position using that unrealized profit. But remember, when you do that, it also um, shortens your liquidation price. So just something to be aware of, but you can actually start out with a little amount of money. And if your trade goes in the right direction, you can keep adding to it. Um, with your unrealized profits. So that's one of the benefits to it. Or you can use isolated. Now isolated, you can pick your margin. See, it's at two now. You can move this wherever you want, but that's only for the trade that you put in at that moment. Um, and then that's it's locked in at that margin. The margin doesn't adjust. So um, let's look at placing an order. So next we're gonna look at the market order. Okay, so a market order, it's an order, it's executed immediately at the first available price. So whatever the price is when you <clears throat> execute a market order, that is the price you get it for, and it's locked in. So let's say, for instance, um, you want to short here. You would put how many Bitcoin you'd want to short. Now, I'm on USDT, so and then it shows you below the order value, which would be 37 hundred and fourteen dollars and twenty two cents the margin impact would be 1931 so that's the margin you're using um, and then your free margin would be what's left at 20414 and that's starting with just a 223 dollar account so that's the nice thing about prime you can trade small amounts of money you can put in 10 bucks and trade if you want but let's just say um, so I'm on cross margin market order if I hit sell here and then I place order, that this gives you all the information on the trade here, right? And then you place the order and there you go, you're in a short position. Now the next thing we're gonna go over is a limit order and then we'll go over a stop loss order. Okay, so for a limit order. Now, a limit order is if somebody, let's say, was looking for a certain support or resistance level to enter a trade so it doesn't enter immediately. Let's say they wanted to, if it gets down here to this um, 37.50 area again, they're looking to long if it comes back down for a retest. So how would they do that? You would put in a buy order and that was 37.50 right so we put in 37.50 whoops 
37,050, right? Yeah. And then you would go ahead and place the buy order and that would set you a limit there, right? So you would click the buy order and then it, you look at all your information, make sure it's correct and then you would place that buy order. And so that would set you an order down here that would only long if it got down to here. Same thing going the other way. If you were looking to short this resistance up here, let's say at 37,296, right? You would put in a sell, 37,296, and then you would place the sell order and again, check your information. If everything's correct, you would place your sell order. Then your sell order would only come in if you were up in this range. Now remember, for a buy order, you your order price on a limit has to be lower. And then your uh, entry price on a short has to be higher than a current price, right? That's when you're looking for an entry position. Now, if you wanted to do it the other way, you could use a stop, which we'll go over next. Okay, so many people think stop is just stop loss, but you can also use a stop to enter a trade, right? So if you're looking for an entry, if you want to long, and you don't want to long unless it crosses this point here at 37,297. So let's say you wanted to long at 37,3. You would put 37,3 there and it would enter your trade by using a stop once it got up to this level now the same thing on the downside if you were looking to short but only wanted to short if it broke this 3746 right you would go down to your cell on your stop put down what was that number again it was 373 or 3746 so let's put in 37 Zero fifty. If it was to break that, then it would enter a short if I entered this position. Remember to always, when you hit uh, place sell order, it will give you all your information here. Make sure that is correct before entering your trade. But that's how you use a stop to enter at a break of support or resistance um, in the opposite direction, right? So that's something I wanted to explain there. Now you can also use stop as a stop loss. And if you wanted to put in a stop loss or a take profit for your trade, you would go down to the bottom, this little pencil right here. You click on that, and then you can put in your take profit price, right? And enter it, or you can put your stop loss price. So remember, always use stop losses. Um, trading is extremely risky. If you're not using stops, uh, the chances of you getting liquidated, totally liquidated, could be crushing. So just remember that, guys. Always use stop losses. And you can use stop losses also. Let's say um, you were in a trade in major profit, right? And you wanted to put a stop loss. And you can put them in where even if it stops you out, you're still in profit. So that's a safe way to trade. Once you get into profit, maybe move your stop loss into break even. That way you can't lose the trade. And then once you get into more profit, then you move your stop loss to, to a point to where if it does stop you out, you, get, um, you don't lose your money, right? You actually still win even if you get stopped out. A lot of people don't understand that about trading. Uh, but stop losses are extremely important. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. I do appreciate you watching. And remember, you can still trade. Uh, if you go up to the trade section in the global markets, you can still trade S&P, gold, Dow, um, traditional markets, Forex, and that. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and tick your notification bell if you do like the channel. And uh, I will see you in the next video video.